ethics. I think this is the first of the ethics test. Yeah. Whenever there is an ethics test, I always my confusion level increases. Normally, multiple percentage confusion and number percent confusion are there. Yenna pass are there in the ethics class la. Door period thola ethics test la increases. UPSC, what does it require you to do in the ethics? What does what do what do they require? What is your perception? You tell me. In the history paper, they test your history. Yes. In the geography paper, they try to see where you have some geographical knowledge. In the ethics, what do they test? I am asking. They are testing your character. Okay. Just just one or two inputs I want from you so that it gives me some insight. Uh, character. Then genuinity. Can you test a genuinity in a person's answer? Just I am asking, curious to know, that is it. How you think? How you think is in the mind process, we have to have a reader, mind reader to do this. How, how are you going to test it in the answer? See, ethics paper has got a problem. What problem? Ethics paper. <coughs> it is intended to test whether that person we are selecting for the UPSC, selecting or rejecting how do they do by awarding mark. If you award mark is selected, you do not award is rejected. I am telling any person who is evaluated in the paper is either selecting or rejecting, finished. It is not that the only the entry officer selects you and rejects you, no. Everybody who is awarding you a mark, he selects you, rejects you, gives an higher scale of mark, selecting, giving a lower scale of mark, rejecting. So, that person who is evaluating the paper sees whether this person is selected, needs to be selected or not, whether this person will suit the job or not, whether in a question which he has put, you are not answering the question like in history. I have asked a question about Napoleon. In history, you cannot write Bismarck. When I am asking a question about Napoleon's, you are not supposed to ask it means you write Hitler or Gandhi somewhere. But in an ethics paper, the question is something. But ultimately, they test you one thing whether you, as a material, as an aspirant, you are fit for this job. If you are to be fit for this job, you need to have some personal traits. You need to have some professional traits. Finished. Personally, you need to have certain things. Professionally also those certain things are important. Sir, whether the personal traits are primary or the professional traits are primary, these traits may be called as characters, these traits may be called as values, these traits may be called as some principles. It may be anything, trait. You understand? What are those traits? First we will understand. After knowing these traits, we will understand clearly these are the traits which an individual is supposed to possess. And for your information, you present these traits in a neat manner, whether you are possessing the traits or not, when you write these traits in a neat manner, you are supposed to be possessing this trait. You may possess personally, but you have not written, they think that you do not possess. Yes or no? This is the trick in any writing paper or this is the trick in any means ethics. <coughs> See, ethics they read the paper and see whether you are suitable, ethically whether you are fit for this job or not. You may be fit, but you are not given properly. Sir, giving properly or not what, sir? Using an apt term, using an appropriate term which is associated with morality, ethics, etc. So, there are certain fixed terms which are existing. For any question, as per the requirement of the question, you use these terms. Aspect number one, use these terms. Secondly, try to possess these terms and if you have these terms, it is an advantage for you because you, you may not lie, you cannot lie. The problem which I am finding with the aspirants is that they have these basic traits, but they do not know these are the names for these traits. Yes or no? Sir, these are the words for these tra traits. They have inside them. You understand? But they do not have, means they do not know how to put it in writing. So, I think that has to be overcome. That is the challenge why we are writing these tests.